Right then, welcome back. And today, well, we're at Utah. We're on the West Course. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of a track guide. And we're going to use an absolute monster. We're going to use... Well, it's not a monster. It's a street fighter, but hey-ho. Uh, we're going to use the 2020 Ducati Street Fighter V4S. Now in the game, it's called a Super Naked, I'm assuming. There was some licensing issues, but mine is not to wonder why. Mine is just to do or die, or whatever the saying is. Um, but yeah, um, this track kills tyres, and this bike kills tyres, uh, so it's not a very good combination. Um, we started out, I just put a 2 and 8 setup in, I did a few bits and bobs and tweaks, and this, <laughs> I love this motorbike. It is an absolute filth filthy bit of kit it will destroy a rear tire i mean this is lap one straight out the box and that rear tire is warmer than most pensioners flats uh, are going to be over the winter but uh, we digress um lap guide then over the start finish straight first braking marker is going to be just after that number four board there on the right hand side hold it nice and tight into the curb stand the bike up get on the gas it's going to wiggle about move back across to the left braking marker and it is just a little tap on the brakes to get the front end to bite all right nice and tight again you can run over the curb if you want get on the gas let the bike drift out and then we're back across the right hand side next braking marker is that curb the curbs on this track are key absolutely key all your braking points are just different curves right so out of here, stay right across to the right hand side of the track because we're going to go through this next left hand king flat out. We're going to use the gas to steer the bike through the turn. So as you go to full lean, you get on the gas and it'll turn the bike in. Next braking marker is the 300, 300 meter, 300 yard board on the right hand side on the gas. And this corner has two apexes, but we're going to ignore the first one. We're going to clip the second one. We're going to stay across to the left. And there's a curb that you can't really see very well because I said 1700 was the good time to do this. That's your braking marker. And again, it's a double apex at turn six. We're going to take the second one. We're going to get on the gas. We're going to let the bike drive out the corner. And then another braking marker is the 200 whatever board just before the curb on the right hand side. Now this corner has three apexes. We're going to ignore the second one. We're going to run all the way out and then we're going to nip it back at the third. So you hit the first. Ignore the second, hit the third, run nice and tight and stay across to the left-hand side because the right-hand kink opens up. So we're just going to have a little dab on the brakes, then we're going to get back on the gas, we're going to let the bike slide about. Oh, beautiful. Next braking mark is just before the end of the kerb on the right-hand side, just by that big sign, that big screen. Again, it's a really long corner, take a late apex, get on the gas, and then we're looking for the final braking point, which again is just before the kerb on the right-hand side. Work out where the kerbs are, work out where you need to be on the track. You've got to use the full width of the track, hold it nice and tight into that last turn, get on the gas and just try and get it straight. Try not to let the traction control and anti-wheelie slow you down. Um, yeah, busy lap, short lap, but a busy lap, a lot going on and you'll murder tires. And if you string it all together, it should look a little something like this. You would beat all of the recommended ghosts and you would do a 120.012 uh, 
Uh, it didn't come easy. We did. We did a lot of laps, a lot of laps, and it took until the 33rd lap to get to where we were. There is a 119 in it, apparently. Oh, it would have to be pretty much perfect. And there you go. Um, four hundredths of a second. Um, not a massive gap. That is quite a tight leaderboard. I mean, the top six to seven, eight, nine places are all in the 120s. So yeah, it is a, it is a tight leaderboard, but the bike and the track, oh, if you want to learn how to slide it about and get on the gas and look for like double A and triple apexes and bits and bobs, it's fantastic. But thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking all the usual stuff. Um, and fingers crossed, I oh, will see you next time. Take care, stay safe, peace.